People have the definition of what successful selling is all wrong. See, in most companies today, bringing business in is no longer the sole responsibility of a designated sales force, and it's scaring a lot of people who are anything but comfortable with the process. Well, I have really good news. Winning client business and driving new opportunities are well within your control, even if you are a more technically focused or introverted personality. In this episode, I have five tools that work and can help any of you bring your business development success to an all new level. Welcome to Build Smart Connections. Hey, how you doing? Uncle Paulie here. You know, Joey works real hard helping you out, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, all right? Or else your business might be sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> Uncle Paulie coming on a bit strong. Hey, we appreciate you watching. Let's get right to the tools that work for improving your business development success. Number one, get your mind right. Eliminate the stigma of sales, because in most companies, it's not really about being a cold call salesperson, it's about you reaching out to those you know or those you have worked with to build deeper connections and a more trusting relationship. Two, be a go-giver. That's a really good book, I highly recommend it. It was given to me by a friend who also happens to be a client, and you can knock it out in short order, well worth it. Most of us wince because we fear being perceived as that person who's being overly persuasive or angling for what we can get. Stop, flip it. Don't think about what you can get, think about what you could give, how you can help them, how you can provide value. And this includes supporting their business, connecting them with someone who can help them, and helping them personally with their career or personal goals. In this episode, I talk about getting to know people and their interests beyond the workplace. The more you learn about them, the more you can provide value to them. Three, find common ground. Now I need to refer to another episode because so many of these are interconnected. Here I offer simple tools to help you build deeper, more trusting connections. The questions you can ask are low-hanging fruit that help you quickly establish common ground. That's because common sense isn't common practice, Big Joe. You know what, little Joe? You're probably right. Four, pick up the phone. Yes, email is very useful, but I find that when you reach out to somebody by phone, the likelihood of a positive response is much higher. You know your connections and relationships, but remember this, if you want your phone to ring, you have to make other people's phones ring. And five, own your value. Let me ask you a question and answer honestly. Do you focus more on your strengths or your weaknesses? Because way too many people focus on their weaknesses. Yet my guess is that you are ethical, you have a lot of experience, you have expertise, and you take pride in making a difference. So know it, own it, and don't think about selling, think about building deeper relationships and where you can provide distinctive value. Little Joe? Hey everyone, what other tips or strategies do you have when it comes to asking for the opportunity? Please put your comments below. Live it, love it, do it, profit. <laughs>